Every time we feel tired or exhausted from our daily grind, whenever we want a respite from the metro life, or if we simply want to unwind and chill out and breathe, Bagyo ang unang pumapasok sa isip natin. Hi, I'm Angel Aquino and I invite you to join me spend the holidays having fun, going on adventures, and feeling nostalgic in this place that I call home. Bagyo was my home when I was in college. I took up journalism in UP Baguio, and those were the most fun and adventurous years of my life. Hello. Okay. You ready? Yeah, okay. The city is adapting and uh, uh, embracing the changes. Um, and um, I love that uh, a lot of people who live here and have come to love so they really make ways to take care and improve Baguio. Just what do you think about like your friends? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Nagulat naman ako sa inyo! <laughs> Kaya pala hindi ako makapag-isip! What's happening to me? Hi! Kumusta? Kumusta? You're welcome! Yeah! These are the people I grew up with, learned with in Baguio, got crazy with, became stupid with. <laughs> when was college days? 30 years ago! 30 years ago! That's the Magkaribal album. Photos natin. Ang gaganda at popogi pa natin dyan. Ayan, ayan. Kamay lang. Cafe by the Ruins is one of the most iconic dining places here in Baguio. Hindi kumpleto ang pag-akit mo ng Baguio kung hindi ka dumaan dito. Hi. Welcome to Cafe by the Ruins. Thank you, Miss Mina. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be back here. Let's go inside. Yes, ma'am. Yay! Miss Mina, I'm a regular patron of Cafe by the Ruins. I remember when I was a student, this, uh, this was already up but <laughs> syempre we were on a budget so lagi lang namin dream to come to cafe by the ruins but then of course when i started working i came here and i in instantly fell in love with the place so how i just want to know uh, very briefly how cafe by the ruins has evolved from the um, locals po before na we got it from the farm to table. Uh -oh. Tinutuloy pa din po namin until now. Pero that's your advocacy. Ma that's no? our advocacy po uh -oh. to support the locals. But then, um, nag-evolve nga po since ganito na po yung mm -hmm. panahon. So, especially during ano, um, pandemic, ma'am. Uh -oh. So, kailangan makiride kami with the trend na with deliveries. Ganun. So, before, uh -oh. wala po kami. Uh -oh. So, ano yung mga favorites that people keep coming back for? They keep coming back on our signature coffees po. Signature coffees like Ruins Coffee, our Arabica Coffee uh -oh. from um, Benguet. So, they're still coming back for our Bagnet. Yan. Ah! Lispita pa po. Yan yes. po. Yun po yung mga very special menus po namin. And then the special salads, gado-gado salads, yeah, donkey gado, salads. Gado. Miss Mina, thank you. So today we're with Miss Jovi Ganongan. She's the regional director for the department for the Department of Tourism, Cordillera Administrative Region. So tell me, how did the pandemic affect Baguio and the Cordillera? During the pandemic, talagang it was really hard for us, no? especially for the for Baguio City, which is very dependent on tourism. Mm -hmm. no? So of course, nagsara din yung mga hotels, even homestays. Because here in Baguio, maraming homestays there. Yeah. Here in Baguio, I think one of the things that people keep coming back for is the food. Alam mo, sari-sari yung pagkain din sa Baguio eh. Actually, meron din international, may local. But we're trying to also promote yung mga local food natin na ang cordon culture. Like, alimbawa here in, in Cafe by the Room, Wins na kung nasan tayo. This one is a good, a good example, yung, yung champurado, di ba? Kasi... <laughs> you know, kasi balamig ang bagyo, so sometimes parang gusto mo nang mainit, ganyan. 
And then, but we're very popular, uh, Baguio City and the Cordilleras, popular siya. I don't know if you have heard about the Pinikpikan. Yes. <laughs> Yung mga delicacies natin in, in Cordillera, like for instance, uh, binakle in uh, Ifugao, especially in Kiangan. And they call it uh, Inandila or Inanchila in Kalinga. Inanchila. So these are all rice cakes. Na iba-iba yung preparation. No? Iba-iba rin yung shape. Uh, okay, we will look for Inanchila. But, and, but all this talk of food is getting yeah. me hungry. So why don't we eat yes, and thanks. enjoy our food? Yes, thank let's. you so much, Miss Jo. You're welcome. Thank You're welcome. You. And enjoy Baguio and oh, the, definitely. the food. But if you are looking for a budget-friendly dining experience, our next stop is perfect for you. The Gypsy Wagon food truck offers delectable Mexican foods at affordable prices. Wow! Thanks! I was served quesa taco. Yummy! Here, and these are chimichangas. Wow, they look so beautiful and so scrumptious. So. You wanna try? Let's try, come share with me. Chimichanga. Mm. As opposed to being the end destination, Baguio City now functions as the gateway to the Cordilleras. Several minutes away from Baguio Town proper, you can enjoy this piece of heaven on earth. Kampragsak is camping in perfection. You can enjoy camping in wide array of sumptuous dishes, specially prepared by Cocina del Sol. This is called the uh, Cuatro for Maggi, so it has four cheese. Wow. Uh, that, that's Parmesan mozzarella, uh, blue cheese, and homemade ricotta. Uh, we make our yeah. own. Tiyak mag -e enjoy ang buong barkada at pamilya. Pagdating ng gabi, this place becomes even more magical and mesmerizing as the sky glistens with thousands of stars. What a wonderful way to appreciate God's wonderful creation. Christmas is about family and it's that time of the year when you just want to be with your loved ones. And for me, my special on Christmas when I am here in Baguio with my own family. Pag-usapan natin ang Paskong Baguio and who better to talk about it than Alec Mopalo who's the tourism officer here in Baguio. So Alec, tell me about Paskong Baguio. People here are, are always welcoming uh, and, and there's this culture of uh, taking in visitors warmly uh -oh. and, and, uh, and that's the essence kasi of Christmas, you know, coming together, visiting places where, uh, you know, you feel the warmth. Exactly. The charm of Baguio doesn't just begin and stop during the Christmas season. It goes beyond that because you have a lot of other things throughout the year. So you have the Montañosa Film, Film Festival. Festival also. Can you tell us about that? Oh, oh we just did our uh, inaugural uh, edition mm -hmm. last year. I heard it yeah. was very successful. It was. We, we were amazed how uh, a lot of talent starting to come out. So uh, will you be coming. doing that yearly from uh, that will become a summer feature, no? If, if okay. it's going to be every March, and that will Sana kick off. Sana na ako sa mga next Oh, we <laughs> would like to have you. I'm so happy to hear everything that you just told me now because we all love Baguio wow. so much, and we all want it to stay to be a healing, rejuvenating, relaxing Correct. place. And so it should always stay that way. Yeah, okay, right. so let's all continue to breathe Baguio. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.